Hello children, it's lovely to be able to speak with you again. This week we're celebrating the beginning of Advent, which is the time in the church's year when we are preparing to welcome Jesus, to welcome Jesus at Christmas. It's quite traditional to make an Advent wreath or an Advent ring. And I think you've got some instructions on how you can do this. Um, usually we use real candles in church, but I've got an advent wreath which has been made out of toilet rolls and it's all made out of cardboard and paper even with a paper flame so let me show you what I've got here firstly I've got the four candles this one can you see says hope on it I've also got one that says peace on it and one that says joy on it and one that says love on it. One of them is a slightly different colour. I don't know if you can see this one's more pink. We call it rose and very often for the third week of Advent we have a rose candle. So we are celebrating that Jesus is coming and the candles help us to count down to Christmas. So this week we're going to celebrate, we're going to celebrate by lighting the very first candle on our Advent wreath and we're going to light the one that says hope. So look there, there is the candle flame and the candle is a light and shining. It's quite often common to put green decorations, sometimes holly, around the bottom of the advent wreath. And I've got some lovely leaves here which I collected from my garden, which we can lay around the advent wreath. I hope you can see those. I know they're a little bit low on the screen. Oh, try not to knock them over. Knocking love over there. And then the Advent wreath can stay there throughout Advent and each Sunday we will light one new candle. We've lit hope this week. I wonder what you're hoping for, what you're looking forward to. Advent is the time when Mary was pregnant. She was waiting for Jesus to be born. So in one sense, Advent is the pregnant time. What are you waiting to be for to be born, to come into the world? We're waiting for the baby Jesus, of course, but we're waiting for lots of other things as well. I bet you're waiting for coronavirus and the lockdown to end so that you can see your friends more and just go out and play with people more or see other people in your family more than you can at the moment. We're waiting for God to come close to us. God already is close to us, really, but it's good at times just to have that sense of expectation, of looking forward. I've put some really good words for Advent here, hope and joy and love and peace, and they're all fantastic things and we'll celebrate those over the coming weeks. But sometimes there's some other words which I think go with Advent and they're not such good things. I think being tired is an Advent word. I bet Mary was tired when she was waiting for Jesus to be born and she was very pregnant and very heavy. I sometimes think that bored is an Advent word because we want to get to the big day, we want to get to Christmas. Sometimes I think impatient is an Advent word. Or maybe we should say being patient is an Advent word. God wants us to learn to wait. Whatever you're waiting for, whatever you're looking forward to over, over this Advent season as we approach Christmas, 
we join with everybody else throughout the world in waiting and hoping and longing for God's world to be filled with his light and his joy and his peace. Every time we pray, that's a really Advent thing to do. And so we're going to take a moment now to pray. And we're going to pray for these four things which we have on the candles. Dear God, fill our hearts, we pray, with your hope. Give us patience as we wait for your coming. Fill our hearts with your joy. Help us to know that your wonder fills the world. Fill our hearts with your love so that we may love other people with the love you show to us. Fill our hearts with your peace because you desire us to know your calm, your peace, your stillness. Amen. I hope you can make your own Advent wreath at home. If you want to send pictures of your Advent wreaths to me or to Kate, we'd love to see them. And I hope that you have a really wonderful Advent. <laughs>